All right, guys, this is a video I wanted to make and get out there real fast. So there's going to be basically no editing, and it's going to be me just talking and adjusting the camera. Sorry. Not going to look great, but you're going to get the info faster than if I set myself forth to put a lot of production quality in. I don't think that really matters. You just want to see the content. So I got the Osram sampler from Convoy. These are all Convoy C8 Pluses, and they all have W1s, uh, the narrow, the Ns, uh, in here. And the purple host has a blue Osram, red for the red, orange or amber, yellow, whatever you want to call it. Uh, green over here, so this is going to be the highest intensity. The black has the W1.1 or, or the W1 emitter, the smaller one, not the HX. And then the silver host has an SST20 4000K, so a high CRI emitter. And those are just, I'm just going to throw that in at the end just so you can see the difference between an Osram and an SST20 in the same exact host, same exact reflector. All right, so let's go ahead and adjust the camera here. Okay, as I said, I'm gonna do all this live because I have a busy week and I don't wanna get into an editing schedule. All right, so here is our street here that I usually do this from. And as I set things up, including, there we go including focus and exposure lock, which I just did. I wanna point out that I am color temperature locked at 5,000K. The tint is locked neutral and everything looks good to my eyes. I already tested it a little bit. We're gonna start out with a, not one of the lights I was showing you. This is just a KR4 with an Ichia 219B, 4,500K. This is just to kind of get our bearings. So this is like a floody EDC. I got it right in front of you here. So that's just to get our bearings on what this would look like. Okay, floody EDC. All right, now let's head towards our little sampler set here. All right, first off, I'm gonna start off with the blue. So I'm gonna go what you saw on screen from left to right. I'm starting with the blue because it's the lowest intensity. Uh, the beam, oh, they're, by the way, these are all on turbo, all in 100%. I set them in uh, the UI, but this one is the most showy as far as beam, but it lights things up the least. So you can kind of see that I'm hitting those uh, palm trees at the end of the street. Uh, here it is in front of me. Oh, by the way, in front of me here, this is about 20 meters. Uh, down at the end of the street is 110 meters. Okay, here's on a nearby tree and on these cars here. Very showy emitter. Okay, let's do red now. So red's going to be a little more intensity on the object, but a little less beam scatter. So here's on the street. Here's on this tree over here. Let me do it from the same side of the frame so that makes sense for comparisons. Here's on the cars and here's on those palm trees. And you can clearly see that the palm trees are being illuminated better. I can see the shapes of them better now. So there's the red. Okay, and oh, and here's beam shot. Okay, now let's do some amber or yellow, depending on who you talk to. Okay, straight to turbo again. You see the trees. Uh, again, there's even less backscatter. The beam is less evident, but more la light is landing on the objects. One interesting thing about the yellow that I wanna point out is the red and blue are monochromatic. You're not getting any color information back, but on the amber, it's low CRI, but there is some color coming back. You would be able to differentiate. Let me start. Let me try that again. You'd be able to differentiate uh, blues, greens, and reds. So, not not high CRI by any means. Probably like forty or fifty, if I had to take a guess. Okay, here's green. This is going to be the most intense. So, this is a really intense emitter. I would expect the beam to not scatter a lot, but it just looks really intense because one, I'm on a kind of a high humidity night, but two, the green just puts out so many lumens. You can see how it's just completely lighting up those trees at the end of the street. Um, you know, in the foreground, it's just, the CCD is blooming. It's just going white. It's green to my eyes, but looks white on camera. Uh, this is a very intense emitter. If you want maximum throw, maximum, uh, light landing on the target. Always go for the green Osram. And it also is not monochromatic. You can pick up colors with it. Now let's go white. So this is a white W1. This is a little less intense than the green. Uh, but of course, if you care about color rendition, this is probably a better option than the green. 
Okay. Here in the foreground, back on the tree for a second. You know, let me do the green and the white next to each other. That'd be really instructive. Okay, so let's do green and white next to each other. And you can see that the green is more intense. You can see that. So, again, it's not earth-shatteringly more or intense, but it's, it's worth noting. And now, let's go with the white Osram versus the SST-20s. Here we go. SST-20 right here. And then this is the Osram. So the Osram's on the left, SST-20s on the right. You can see it in the tree there. It's, it's a wider beam for sure. The hotspot is about double, I would say. About double, just visually. Um, it's, I mean, the C8, C8 Plus really throws still. So it's definitely not intense as as intense as the Osram, but it's a great light. If you want a high CRI thrower, it's the way to go. Okay, cross those, get an idea. All right, I hope that's instructive because a lot of people were asking about the colors and how they fare. Since these are all identical hosts, identical drivers, even uh, down to the mode groups, uh, I think it's really instructive. I hope you find it interesting.